Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the copy to selected function to speed up your workflow in Blender using three different examples. First off, let's say you're modeling a keyboard and you want to make the keys look a bit more rounded, so you go to change the amount on the bevel modifier. But this only changes the bevel for one key. Sure, you could transfer the modifier stack to all the other keys using copy modifiers, but what if some keys have particular modifiers that you don't want to overwrite? And obviously you don't want to go through and change each bevel modifier individually. What we can do instead is select all of our keys, making sure that the modified key is the active object highlighted in yellow, then right click our new value and select copy to selected, which will transfer the value to the bevel modifier of all the other keys without modifying any of the other values or modifiers. We can also use copy to selected to help us align objects. Let's say we've carefully placed an asset in our scene, such as this plant, but we need to replace it with another asset without going through the process of moving it manually to the same spot. Once we've dragged in our new asset from the asset browser, select both objects, making sure the original asset is the active object, then go to the sidebar and right click on any of the three location coordinates. Now we have the option to either select copy single to select it, which will copy just the X location of the original asset to the new one, or copy all to select it, which will copy all three coordinates. Now we can see that the locations of the two assets match. Equally, if we have modified the rotation or the scale of the plant, these can be transferred to the new asset in much the same way by right-clicking the rotation and scale fields, respectively. Finally, if we'd like to go and render our scene, but want to exclude some assets from the render, Copy to Selected comes in handy as well. First, we select the assets that we want to exclude from the render. So, in this case, let's take the paperweight, the bowl, maybe the scissors, the pen, and the desk lamp. Now go to the outliner and find our active object, which in this case is the desk lamp, and go to the far right and click off the camera icon, which will disable the object in the render. Now right click that same camera icon and select copy to selected, which will transfer that property to all of the other objects, so that they are now all disabled in the render. And if we go to render our scene, we will see that, as expected, those objects that we selected are not visible. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.